Cross Midland 2011 could just be the best thing that has happened to Gaelic football in a long time. Watch the way the ball is quickly transferred using kick passing where others use hand passing. Three kicks out of defence and then into the forwards, low with deadly accuracy, very hard to defend against. And although this particular move breaks down, Cross persisted with the tactic which is certainly one way to beat packed defences. They killed the contest with a second goal on the restart. Another accurate low ball into the forwards, where others tend to give it short, get it back, pass it around, possession football. But cross are more direct. Mind you, it helps if you have quality forwards. The All-Ireland champions are looking good once again. Ballanderry also know how to win All-Irelands, though they had a tough route through the Derry Championship. First against Lavi, they conceded two goals at Mahara early on in the first round. Though the second goal was a bit unusual, the high ball deceiving the goalkeeper at his post. And the Shamrocks did recover to win easily enough. With quality players, this goal fashioned by Enda Muldoon and Conleth Gilligan, experienced county men given a lot of room to do as they pleased. In the semi-finals, Ballanderry were on the ropes against Dungiven, but powered to a storming finish into a strong wind, Niall McCusker's introduction was key. Then in the Derry final, Ballanderry blew new boys Kilray away with two first-half goals, and they then, of course, came through a very tough test against Dremore in Oma. As for a prediction for Sunday, there's no way you can bet against Cross. They have confidence, they're playing great football, and they have Jimmy Clark. It promises to be a cracker at casement, as does the first game in the junior championship between Air Rogue and Derry Tresk. Get there early to enjoy both games, courtesy of Ulster GAA.